Tributes continue to pour in for former Ontario Lieutenant Governor David Onley, who passed away at the age of 72. CP24's Beatrice Vaisman has more now on Onley's career and legacy as a disability advocate. It's quite clear as so many people thought of David Onley just as an intelligent, kind, gentle man. Uh, one person writing, he was just a great Canadian, someone who's going to be missed by a lot of people in this province and who's been around in the lives of so many Ontarians, not just for years, but for decades, first as a broadcaster and then as a lieutenant governor. And then in the near decade after that, after his service here at Queen's Park, he continued as a tireless advocate uh, for those in the uh, disabled community here in this province. Uh, our Lieutenant Governor Elizabeth Dowdswell uh, letting us know that he had passed last night at the age of 72. Here's a portion of her statement. Whenever Mr. Onley entered a room, those present saw beyond physical limitations. They saw a person they liked and admired. So in his trusted voice to find accessibility as that which enables people to achieve their full potential by allowing them to participate meaningfully in social, cultural and economic life, Ontarians not only heard the words, they saw the essential truth in the embodiment of the person who said them. This was a man who not for a single day in his life allowed his physical uh, disability to hold him back. As a broadcaster, uh, often the cameras would shoot him from the torso up, but he eventually said, no, I want my mobility device to be shown because it is essentially, it's part of who I am. He was uh, a man who as a child had polio and that's ultimately uh, what led him to, to have to depend on this mobility device and through the years he became not only a symbol for those uh, with living with disabilities but really as an advocate to create change in this province to make Ontario more accessible and in a report um, just a few years ago he wrote that things were happening at a glacial pace when it came to when it came to making sure Ontario was more accessible and equitable for 